Watch this video to learn how a lizard from the southwestern deserts of America played an important role in the development of the weight loss drug Saxenda. Hi, welcome back to another video. My name is Shazli Hassan and I'm the lead pharmacist for Pharmacy Republic and Nebula Health. In today's video, we're going to look at Saxenda or lyroglutide or the skinny pen and we're going to look at how it actually works. In the opening credits, there was a picture of a lizard that's actually a Gila monster, which lives in the deserts of southwestern America. And it's from the saliva of the Gila lizard that we actually have derived Saxenda. Okay. An interesting fact about the lizard is that it eats every three months. Now, Saxenda won't actually do that, but it will actually make you feel less hungry. Okay. So before we go back to the Gila monster and the development of Saxenda, let's look at what happens when you eat something, okay? So when food hits the small intestine, it, it provokes a number of responses, one of which is the release of something called GLP-1, which stands for glucagon-like peptide. Now this then triggers an increase in insulin, okay? So we've got food and then we've got sugars flooding into the blood. So the, one of the actions of GLP-1 is to raise our insulin levels, and our ins these raised insulin levels will bring the blood sugar back to normal. It also encourage, it decreases the secretion of another hormone called glucagon. And glucagon, when that uh, secretion is reduced, it has the same effect. It reduces blood sugar. So if you notice, Glucagon and insulin have opposite effects, okay? So that's one of the actions of GLP-1 after food has hit the intestine. Another action of GLP-1 is it will delay the stomach emptying. So the food will stay in the stomach longer, okay? And as a consequence, you're gonna feel fuller. Another action that the GLP-1 is, it travels to the brain, again, to that area again, hypothalamus, uh, the brain's sensor and once the hypothalamus detects GLP-1 it will introduce changes uh, with relation to, to the food so we don't continually eat ourselves to death there is a limit and that's because the hypothalamus once it detects the GLP-1 it will increase the sensation of satiety or it would increase the feeling of fullness so when you eat a meal you can't go on eating forever because you feel full, okay? So that's how GLP-1, and what Saxenda does, it's an actually called a GLP-1 agonist, i.e. it mimics GLP-1, okay? Now, if GLP-1 is this miraculous molecule which does all these fantastic things, why could we not simply isolate the human version? Okay, one of the reasons was that GLP-1 produces all these incredible actions, but it only lasts for a few minutes. Okay, so let's go back to our friend, the Gila monster. Okay, so it was found that the saliva of the Gila, Gila monster mi closely mimicked GLP-1, okay? And so scientists used that, that as a base, and with a few further chemical manipulations, were able to extend the uh, the time of action of lyroglutide, so then you can have it as a daily dose. Otherwise, if you used natural GLP-1, you'd be continually injecting yourself, okay? So thanks to the long-acting uh, GLP-1 of the Gila monster, and with some, you know, with the boffins in the chemical industry, they were able to manipulate that to extend uh, the time of action of this GLP-1 agonist. That's what we call Saxenda or lyroglutide. It's a GLP-1 agonist. It provokes the same response as GLP-1, but for an extended period of time. Okay, okay so to summarize, when we, Saxenda mimics GLP-1, which is released when food is in the intestine, which causes an increase in insulin, which is one of the main reasons uh, or the main licensed use for lyroglutide, it reduced sugar. So this is very a very valuable tool in type two diabetes. So food, GLP-1, 
increase insulin, decrease blood sugar, GOP1, decrease glucagon, decrease blood sugar, delay gastric emptying, so there's this feeling of fullness in the stomach, acts higher up in the brain to increase the sensation of satiety, so we feel full and we stop eating. And by encouraging these feelings, we actually decrease our appetite and that will encourage weight loss. So this is one, this is the main area where Saxenda works. It works via this higher pathway, which is encouraged, which encourages that feeling of satiety and fullness. So we don't eat. Okay. The other aspects were useful for the treatment of diabetes, but is this higher, higher action by the brain, which we exploit when we take Saxenda. And it's thanks to the Gila monster that we have a long acting GLP-1 agonist. So I hope this has gone some way to explain how Saxenda works. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And if you have any questions regarding maybe the side effects of Saxenda or how, it, how to take Saxenda, where to source it from, just leave a question in the comments and we'll get back to you. Thanks for now. Thanks. Bye.